This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, so if you're looking to buy or sell cards, then definitely check out their site linked in the description. I'm a big fan of how they do business, so check them out and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be yet another World Chalice combo tutorial video because I have a whole new branch of things to start showing you guys in the absence of Digesto Emerald being in the deck, essentially. Now, with the absence of Digesto Emerald, a resource management problem sort of presented itself although it is workaroundable in terms of proper combo sequencing however there is a very easy solution to this problem of having all of your resources from your extra deck end up in your graveyard and that is exodius the ultimate forbidden lord now this card was definitely a combo piece that i was experimenting with even when we still had digesto emerald but it just wasn't really good enough to warrant being placed in the list now the biggest thing that changed is one emerald not being around means that resource management does mean a lot more and exodius fixes that but also because we have three rabbit now we have a much more reliable way of putting a lot of monsters into the graveyard quickly while fueling combos pretty you know efficiently straight out of the gate so playing more like combo reliant bricky cards essentially is easier to do now because we have more good quality starter cards now I have a sinus infection, I'm a little bit sick, so if you hear me gasping or if like I sound weird or whatever, then that's that's just how that one's going to go. But what I'm going to show you today is a two-card combo involving the Agent of Creation Venus plus Exodius, the ultimate Forbidden Lord. And what this does by itself as a two-card combo is it yields you a plus four to card advantage, and it gets you a draw three off Ningirsu, involving no other World Chalice cards at all. It's completely self-sufficient, which is fantastic, it's great. Uh, what it means is that you're going to be using Venus as the sole combo enabler for the entirety of this combo, and then you're going to reset a heavy portion of the resources that you use with Exodius and then use them again. So, I'm going to show you this and then I'm going to expand upon the combo because Exodius being able to reset all the resources means that you are just opening up the doors for like huge amounts of uh, like expandable combo enabling because of what Exodius does. Like, it by itself in all the Venus combos is just four extra monsters because it resets the three shine balls and it itself is a monster on field and it just happens to get swollen for no reason I mean look at this man's arms look how beefy they are they swole uh, this man gets big and that just makes it huge for attack range as well because if you're doing any Venus comboing there's default going to be three normal monsters in grave because of the shine balls world chalice has vanillas in the deck that you're playing and accessing so exodius by himself can get into the three to five k range attack value very easily so like it's good for attack value it's good for comboing everything so i'm not i'm gonna stop gassing on and i'm gonna show you this combo god damn it because i spend way too much time talking about things and not doing them but anyway so you're gonna summon venus in the zone furthest away from where you're gonna be doing your comboing again i'm right-handed i'm going to use the right extra monster zone if you are left-handed or you prefer to use the left-hand side, reverse all of my card placements that you see me doing. But, you're going to summon Venus, you're going to pay 1500 life to summon the three Shine Balls, and you get to be very liberal with your resources in terms of your extra deck cards, because they're all going to be reset, or at least most of them are, uh, with Exodius in the mix. So, you'll link with Shine Ball into Link Spider, and this is of course assuming you have no other World Chalice named cards in your hand. This is purely a self-sufficient, self-contained combo. Which is what I love. I love things like that, how they just work out. But regardless, you're going to link with the second Mystical Shine Ball into Imduk, the World Chalice Dragon. And then you're going to link with Shine Ball and Link Spider into Ebe, the World Chalice Priestess, in your extra monster zone, vacating uh, the non World Chalice named monster out of your extra monster zone and getting ready to go for your combo. But then from here, you're going to special summon your Exodius, putting your Link Spider back into your extra deck, and then your three Shine Balls back into your main deck. And then you're going to use Venus and pay a thousand life yet again to summon your two shine balls back from your deck and then you're going to link with the Eeb and the Imbaduk uh, as a link two to go into your Orum, the World Chalice Blade Master. and then it doesn't really matter if you go ahead and pay the other 500 to summon the other shine ball from your deck uh, here or if you wait so it just it makes better sense to do so and then so what you end up with is you end up with your three shine balls on the field You've paid 3,000 life into this combo so far, and you're ready to go from here. You're set up and ready to... You're cocked, locked, and ready to rock, essentially. <laughs> but, so you're going to link with this Mystical Shine Ball that is in this zone specifically, the center zone, into another Imduk, the World Chalice Dragon, and then you are going to use Orum, targeting the Imduk, to destroy it, uh, or tribute it, or whatever, and special summon the Eeb back. So you've rotated the Imduk out for a better resource in terms of the Eeb, 
which is good. So you've, you've gotten more value out of that Shine Ball by turning it from a Link 1 into a Link 2. Uh, so that, that one Shine Ball was by default a Link 2. That's cool. Uh, but then you're going to use uh, this Shine Ball here to go into a third Mdux. So this combo does require you to play three Mdux in your extra deck for this specific sequencing. But that's fine. I found myself playing three Mdux a lot recently because of the capability that we have in terms of extra deck space. Because Emerald is gone, we have an extra slot. Three Mdux actually comes up quite a lot in a bunch of other more extended combos. Uh, but then also, like e even if you have like multiple Exodiuses, you can reset them. So it doesn't really matter too heavily in that regard. But so you summon the Mduk here, so now you've got your three World Chalice Monsters where you need them to be for your Ningirsu draw to be completely self-sufficient. So then you're going to link with the Venus and the Exodius, and the Exodius banishes itself, thank god, or else there'd be some degenerate firewall loops with this deck. <laughs> and that would just not be fun. Uh, and then you're going to link summon into your Proxy Dragon next to the Eeb, specifically leaving the Shine Ball left over to link with it into Link Spider, the same Link Spider you used the first time, doesn't matter if it is or isn't. Uh, but it's something that got shuffled back, so it's like it's a resource that's just free for you to use. Then you'll link with Proxy Dragon and the Link Spider into your Ningirsu, and off of your Ningirsu you will draw your three cards. So, with this, essentially, you have completely uh, eliminated the need for World Chalice names in your hand to make any sort of this play possible, uh, but also, like, it's it's noteworthy that if you did have other World Chalice names in your hand, then you could expand upon it, like, clearly, that's something that you could do without having to use, like, the third Mduk. It's definitely something that does exist, so it's it's not like you're mandatory required to play three Mduk no matter what. Uh, you could definitely have another World Chalice name in your hand, and then you wouldn't have to make the Link Spider. Uh, you have a few different things that happen there in terms of resources that you can go into. However, because this combo was completely self-sufficient, it's completely self-contained in terms of the resources it required, that means the amount of extenders you could have drawn to make this even, you know, more of a potent combo are huge, are insane. You have Lee in your deck that's still unused, you have World Legacy, World Chalice in your deck that's still unused, you have Brilliant Fusion that's still in your deck unused, which gets you to Lee. You have so many different things. You have Rescue Rabbit that is unused, and you have none of the vanillas out of your deck that you would be summoning off Rescue Rabbit, like Chosens or Beckons. Like, there's the maximum number of extenders that are left in your deck after this is performed that mean that the other six cards in your hand, because this was a two-card combo, you have six cards in your hand that can all be extenders of very high quality, like Lee, like World Legacy World Chalice, like Brilliant Fusion, like Foolish, like Rescue Rabbit. There's all these different things that are extenders that can be beneficial to you, and at this point you haven't performed an additional normal summon or set this turn, so you can use Brilliant Fusion or use Mduk to tribute summon for your World Legacy World Chalice and continue on further if that's the card you drew, or if you search it off Lee being summoned off one of these things' grave effects. There's so many different things that happen here, so I'm going to expand upon this combo for one combo. I'm going to show you an extra link combo that is done using Venus and Exodius plus a World Chalice monster. Uh, whether it's World Legacy, World Chalice, or Lee, it does not matter which one, but it becomes an extra link combo. And that's actually just really cool because Exodius resets so many resources for you. So, give me just a second to catch my breath. One, because fuck this sinus infection is making it hard to breathe and speak. And then uh, I'll set this up and be back in a second. Alright, so for this expanded version of the combo is going to be Venus plus Exodius plus Lee the World Chalice Fairy. Now the reason I specifically chose Lee is because one, it's the one that has sort of the most impact outside of World Legacy World Chalice, but also because it's the one that you're statistically most likely to see. You have Brilliant Fusion, which essentially searches it. You have Foolish, which searches it. You have three copies of it itself. Uh, like, it's, it's way too, like, reasonable for you to expect to have this card versus any other World Chalice card. Like, this this is by far the one that statistically you should see the most because it's by far the one that there are the most copies of in the deck in terms of cards that access it because everything else is a 3 of or a 2 of. This is the only one that's literally a 7 of if your deck is built correctly by 3 Brilliant Fusion and 3 Lee and 1 Foolish. So, maximizing your chances to get to this card. But anyway, what this does, this is an extra link combo, uh, which is great, and it leaves your Firewall Dragons at least one Firewall Dragon loaded, uh, and so that's just really good for you. So, you start off by summoning Venus, obviously, and you pay 1500 to summon your three Shine Balls, clearly. And then you're going to do the same thing that we did at the start of the previous combo, which is to link into Link Spider to open us up an extra zone. But then we're going to link with the Shine Ball here into Mduk underneath the Link Spider. And then we're going to link with Link Spider and Mduk this time 
into the Eve of the World Chalice Priestess. Uh, now, it's actually kind of wasteful to use the Link Spider, but at the same time, it doesn't really matter. It also could unload other vanillas out of your hand to extend the combo further, so it gets a pass. But the Inbuilt's Grave effect here is going to trigger, and we're going to special summon the Lee the World Chalice Fairy out of our hand here. And then the Lee is going to trigger, searching for a World Legacy World Chalice. Now, from here, what we're going to do is we're going to link with Eeb and the Lee into Orum, the World Chalice Blademaster, as they are two different World Chalice names. And if you have any other cards in your hand that you want to summon other than World Legacy World Chalice, Eeb can trigger here as well to summon that. So there's a lot of options available to you as far as that goes. Now you're going to link with the Mystical Shine Ball here into yet another Imduk. And you're going to gain the additional normal summon uh, that Imduk gives you to tribute it and tribute summon World Legacy World Chalice. Now, here is the point where we have tons of cards in our graveyard that we've sort of wasted, but we haven't wasted them at all because Exodius can be dropped here. And we're specifically dropping Exodius here because the Lee returning itself to your hand doesn't necessarily matter too much um, in terms of this combo sequence. And so that actually means a lot because that means that like your Brilliant Fusion could be a starter for this play as well because you know it doesn't matter if you're adding Lee to your hand and you're about to put it back in the deck anyway. So... That's not a factor, so this can literally be the exact same card sequence if you're using Brilliant Fusion or not. Uh, but we're summoning the Exodius here to shuffle all of these cards back into the deck because we want the Exodius to hit the board before we put World Legacy World Chalice Engrave. That's the main thing, is because we want that Engrave to be a resource for potentially later. But So those all go back into your deck, and you're left at this nice, clean, slated point where you have a World Legacy World Chalice and a Venus loaded. So, but so then you're going to pay 500 with Venus, and you're going to summon a Mystical Shine Ball out of your deck, and then you're going to link with the World Legacy World Chalice and the Shine Ball into a fresh Eeb. And then the World Legacy World Chalice effect is going to trigger here, and you're going to hope that your opponent doesn't have Ash Blossom, but even if they do, you still get to just perform a fantastic play by itself anyway, because you could still just go into Imduk. Link Spider, Proxy Dragon, <laughs> like, it's actually just really cool, like, you, even if they Ash Blossom this, you still get to draw three off Ningirsu, because you still have two more Shine Balls left in your deck, so you can summon Shine Ball, Shine Ball, make Imduk, make Link Spider, make Proxy with these two, Proxy and Link Spider, make Ningirsu, that's a draw three, so, <laughs> like, you don't even care if they have Ash Blossom, they go down a card and you still draw three, so, regardless, regardless of what they have, regardless of that hypothetical, you summon a Vanilla out of your deck, one of the World Chalice Vanillas, plus World Chalice Guard Dragon. So, from here, the Guard Dragon is going to be an additional resource. Like, all this stuff just happens in your favor way, way too much. Uh, <laughs> it's just really good. But so, from here, you're going to link with the Guard Dragon and the Exodius into your Proxy Dragon. And then, from there, you are going to pay 500 life off the Venus to summon the second Shine Ball that was recycled back into your deck. And then you are going to link with it into either Link Spider or Imduk. Now, I only run two Link Spiders, but I do run three Imduks, so I prefer to summon Imduk, just because it gives you more options there, uh, in terms of if other, other cards are in your hand or whatever. So you're going to link these two into your Ningirsu, and then your Ningirsu is going to draw you three cards, because it has three World Chalice cards being pointed to. So, you will draw three here, and it doesn't matter if these are monsters or not, but it does benefit you to have a monster in your hand for this combo to continue. Uh, and I'll explain that later when it comes up. Basically, if you have a monster in your hand and the other five cards here, what it does is it allows you to not have to use the second Firewall Dragon's effect, and you can keep both Firewall Dragons loaded, essentially, um, while still performing the extra link. But, so, <laughs> what you're going to do here is you're going to use Agent of Creation Venus's effect, and you're going to summon another Shine Ball from your deck. The last Shine Ball, I should note. Uh, so you've paid 3,000 for this life, uh, 3,000 life for this combo to happen in general for this. And then what you're going to do is you're going to link with Ningirsu and the Mystical Shine Ball. Or not, actually. I'm trying to remember the exact sequencing. It's uh, Ningirsu and Venus. That's right. Ningirsu and Venus into Firewall Dragon. The first Firewall Dragon you will make. Then you're going to use Orm's effect targeting the Chosen by the World Chalice. And you're going to get it into the grave and summon the Ningirsu back. So you've turned that Chosen into literally three Link Materials here. And then Firewall is co-linked with two cards. So that's very good for you. So then your next step moving forward from here is that you are going to clear your extra monster zone and vacate it basically for uh, for the potential um, summoning of uh, your uh, of your shit <laughs> is uh, what I'm what I'm trying to say here. But so you're going to link with the Mystical Shine Ball and the Orum, the World Chalice Blade Master here, and you're going to link into Gaia Saber. 
pointing down at the firewall dragon. So now this firewall dragon is co-linked with three cards. And so this is the point where I said before where if you had an additional monster in your hand at this point, out of the five cards that should be in your hand at this point, because this was a three card combo, if you have another monster in your hand at this point, then you do not have to use this firewall dragon's effect to make the extra link happen, and you can keep it loaded. Now, it won't be loaded for three, it will be loaded for only two, but it will still be loaded regardless. You'll have two Firewall Dragons loaded for two. However, if you don't have a monster in your hand, that's fine. You can still use Firewall Dragon in a uh, in a usable way. This is supposed to be banished. <laughs> Again, we don't want degenerate Firewall loops with this shit. We don't want that, so thank God that thing banishes itself. But so, what you have access to here is that off of the Firewall Dragon, uh, if you had no other monsters in your hand, which is completely unlikely, it's like very unlikely for you not to have another monster in your hand at this point, because you're playing World Chalice, the deck's over half monsters. Like, you have five cards in your hand, you should, in theory, have a monster there. But, if you don't, <laughs> then what you can do here is you can use Firewall Dragon's effect, since it's co-linked with three monsters, and you can add back three monsters from your graveyard to your hand. So it doesn't matter necessarily what they are, they just have to be things that you can, you know, use. So, uh, things that would go back into your hand at this point would be things like Venus, uh, Chosen by the World Chalice, and a Mystical Shine Ball. Things that don't necessarily matter all that much. All you need is at least a vanilla in your hand to continue this forward. Uh, but there's there's a bunch of different things that can go into your play line as factors. But, so from here, the Guard Dragon is still loaded. So you're going to activate Guard Dragon, banishing itself to summon the Mystical Shine Ball from your graveyard. And then from here... You're going to link with Ningirsu, and you're going to link with the Shine Ball, and then you're going to summon your second Firewall Dragon over in this zone, and then at this point either Ningirsu can trigger to summon a World Chalice out of your hand, or the Firewall Dragon can trigger because Ningirsu left the zone pointing to it, and you can summon whatever you want. So in this case I'm going to use the Firewall Dragon's effect to special summon Mystical Shine Ball, and then I will link away with this Shine Ball into a vanilla link of link spider uh, so this becomes an extra link and you end up with the five cards in your hand plus the venus and the chosen which the reason i add back venus here is because like you could draw another exodius which could reset the shine balls yet again for another link play uh, there's a few different factors that go into play of like why i picked what cards go back to hand like this can be summoned um, this is just good they're just monsters honestly like that's honestly the only reason that they're that they're decent is because you can just you know summon them and link away with them. However, so this is very good on your extra deck resource because at the end of the day you only have nine extra deck cards that ended up staying in the graveyard because the Exodius put back so many cards. But then you also have Exodius is still in your deck potentially, which are also just ways to reset more things. And then this Firewall Dragon is still loaded for two, which is good to back up your extra link. So there's a few different things that go into play now. If you have the Kaiju Field spell, you could also have summoned Gamma Seal here with the Kaiju thing. Like, that's that's still fully live. And you have seven cards in hand at the end of this uh, because you had the two in hand. Uh, the you had the two in hand at the start of the combo, the three that you drew, and then the two that are left over that were added back by the Firewall Dragon. So it just it gives you a good amount of things to do. You could set cards, you could do whatever. Uh, there's a lot of different factors that go into this in terms of what make this really good and, you know, like a positive experience for you because you end up on such a huge plussing pool uh, and you still have a firewall dragon that's loaded while extra linking your opponent so that's that's always good now it is kind of weak to board wipes unless you have gamma seal out with the kaiju field spell but i digress like e eeb can still make these firewall dragons be protected and uh, there's a bunch of different things that go into play there like better better have it <laughs> like let's be real um if you have the board wipe then congrats um but so like i said if you had another monster in your hand at the point where you're summoning the firewall dragon this first Firewall Dragon, you can change the combo sequence around a little bit to be able to summon that monster from your hand and then link with it into your other things and not have to use this Firewall Dragon's effect to add monsters back to your hand. So you could keep the extra link alive, but then also have two Firewall Dragons that can bounce instead of just one. But it's a minor difference, it's a minor tweak, so I'm not going to take too much time talking about it, explaining it, or discussing it, or whatever, especially considering that I feel like I'm actually dying with my throat burning and with my sinuses clogged, making it hard to breathe and speak at the same time. So, with that, I'm going to end this video with all the information that I've given you thus far. So anyway, that is it for this video. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. As always, drop a like if you want to see more World Chalice videos or more combo tutorials in general. Subscribe if you're new here and want to see more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! content. And links, as always, are in the description of my Facebook fan page as well as my personal Patreon page. If you're a fan of my content and want to help support my ability to continue making content in the future, then backing me on Patreon 
is the best way to do so. Even something as little as a dollar a month is a fantastic way to show your support and keep this channel happening and keep more content coming out and keeping quality of content improving. Hell, all the money that I use through Patreon goes in towards uh, new equipment and things like that. So, uh, basically, that's what that's going for. As well as, it gets you access into monthly raffle giveaways and reward tier options like my personal Discord server and stuff like that to talk with me and others on a daily basis. Stuff like that. So, if you're interested in any of that, then definitely go check out the Patreon page linked in the description before I die. So... Special thanks as always to Travis Miller, Iradium, Jay Garcia, Yuki Phoenix, and Troy Perkins, as well as everybody else that is currently supporting me on Patreon this month. You help out a lot more than you may know or understand, and you will always have my eternal gratitude, as I say in every single video. But other than that, again, thanks for watching, thanks for your time, and as usual guys, take care. I will see you in the next video.